We've talked a lot about mapping genomes of humans, but what about mapping a virus that lives in us and on us? Hey, D-Newsers, Trace here talking about herpes. <laughs> yes, herpes simplex 1 to be more specific. A study in PLOS 1 followed the adventure time of researchers who traced this virus's path through humanity and thus through our entire history. Aside from being fascinating and strange, this research, it really grows on you. <laughs> Biology, history, data, sex, this has everything. Scientists from the University of Wisconsin-Madison sequenced the genes in some herpes virus samples from humans across the globe. 31 different strains from North America, Europe, Africa, Asia. When we finally sequenced the human genome earlier this century, we learned a lot about the progression of the modern human out of the African continent and into Asia and Europe. And it would seem that herpes did exactly the same thing. From the herpes genome, we can make a timeline as it piggybacked its way out of Africa on modern humans. They learned this by looking at how the genes have changed in both of us over time. Think of it like a well-worn gadget or a piece of clothing. For every dent, every scratch, every stain, every hole in the genes of this virus tells a story. At one point, the herpes simplex 1 was in Africa with us, and then it split into two groups, as did we. The European and Asian groups have differing characteristics that play out in the virus's genes. Then eventually, it followed humans across the Atlantic and then to the Americas, slowly evolving and changing over thousands of years. Comparing the changes, researchers could tell which viruses are from where in this evolutionary path, which means the Euro-American strain is individual from the Asian strain. In fact, the researchers pointed out that there's one strain in the US which doesn't even belong, and it's an Asian-based strain, but it's in the middle of Texas. Comparing their data, they can now determine how it got there. It wasn't some adventurous Texan on a pan-Pacific tour doing who knows what, but instead, a strain that split from the Asian group 15,000 years ago. It got there from our ancestors who migrated across the land bridge from Asia. They brought their herptastic friend right on their lip. Data is so incredible. The interesting thing about the herpes virus specifically is it's sort of like an external genome, the researchers said. It evolves alongside us and then, of course, within us. The scientists created a timeline of humanity's progress using the genomic changes in this infectious companion. As the virus is passed in bodily fluids, it usually stays within families and closer-knit groups, so over time, it can be easily traced back through history. Does this study gross you out or are you super into it? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more viral DNews videos.